So most of the classes I take right now as a theater and music major are very performance-based, but um, the way the theater department has tailored the program, it's very just all-inclusive of all the aspects of theater. So you take design classes, you take dance classes, so many dance classes, <laughs> um, and m music courses, and of course acting courses. And then with um, social justice, you do seminars, just talking about different issues and just dealing with like intercultural communication and such like those sort of things. And then with music, it's just pretty much all you sing, you sing all day. I have voice lessons every week, and then I do choral things and history and all of those things. And I'm also part of the opera theater ensemble here um, on campus. The class that made me really think about changing my major was the honor citizen and self class. And I know that nobody else in the world will probably ever think that, but it really did. Ch it changed a lot of things. We talked about different aspects of how to be within a community and how to be a, like an individual in a community. So it was to being a citizen of community and being an in individual and learning because um, I had spent so much time trying to be just the individual and I was like, okay, but I love service. How can I take what I'm doing and make it fit into a community? And that was a really big thing that we touched on in that class. The arts are something that some other aspects of education doesn't reach and it's the fact that it's very, very vulnerable and because the arts are about stories. And that's kind of what folk studies is about too and so is social justice is about sharing people's stories and my reason for choosing that was because I was always interested in service and I was always interested in talking to people and talking about their stories and then the arts is a huge amazing way that you can tell them in a very both symbolic abstract but also very just relative way too. As I remember going to my advisor in the theater department shout out to Carol Jordan because I think I came in to her office every week. I want to do this, but I also want to do this, and I also want to do this, and I want to do this. And so uh, Carol could have really been, well, Hillary, you should really br or narrow what you're doing. Or Hillary, maybe not, but no, every day. I think you should try it, you know, because this is the time to try. And I think college is also a big chance to not be afraid of failure because there really is no failure anyway. You try things and you see if they work for you, which I came in as a totally different major. I had this very strong like tunnel vision, I was gonna be a performer. And then somehow down the road, I wanted to do broad-based community organizing using arts programs. And it was all because, you know, people were willing to let me take chances and let me explore what I wanted to do. If you learn how to market the arts in a way that creates development and creates a need, then you make them indispensable. And when you introduce those into communities that aren't, they don't necessarily realize the power of artistic initiatives, then it makes a huge difference in what they value in the future. So one of the places I'm looking at is Apple Shop and it's in Whitesburg, Kentucky. And what, basically what they've done was, Whitesburg was a coal town. And so when coal, the business or industry went out, that, that was what was at the center of the sustainability in the town. And so what Apple Shop did was they created their own nonprofit community um, arts and culture initiative, and they basically stuck that in the center of everything where coal had used to be. So what they do now, and it has different aspects, there's a Appalachian Media Institute where they work with young kids in the area to get them um, interested in like film and um, radio and just like doing group projects with the youth, which is really, really cool. And then they have their own... Um, radio station, a recording studio, a th like a theater, which is actually in um, Norton, Virginia, is where um, Roadside Theater works, and they do um, basically c community workshops through the and uh, community building exercises in different communities of need using theater. And basically, what they do is they've created this, and then they started making connections within the community. So they. Uh, reached out to the volunteer fire department and then farmers market and then from there it just like kept like creating more connections not necessarily direct ones but just from the other ones and now there's sustainability happening and it's now flourishing because at the center of what was once an entire industry that wasn't necessarily sustainable is arts and culture kind of what Apple Shop's doing in Appalachia is kind of what Here Art Center is doing in New York, which is where I worked over the summer and it's where I'm going to be working in the fall. And they're doing it that way in urban communities. And it's really interesting to see how things are working in New York because New York is such a place where 
the arts and opportunities are so saturated. So if you can pick up knowledge on how that things are working there and figure out how to take some of that sat like saturated opportunity and you know spread it out to places that don't have any, that's really important. And that's kind of where all of my thesis work is coming from is figuring out how to, you know, create opportunity everywhere. My internship was with Prototype New Works Festival, which was at Here Art Center. Um, well, I worked at Here Art Center in New York City. Um, basically, it's a festival that's a baby out of two um, established companies and nonprofit companies for avant-garde opera and different theater aspects in New York, and that's Beth Morrison Projects and Here, which is an uh, which is where a lot of the shows happened. And basically, what Prototype New Works Festival is, it's a an international, um, like global opera theater, opera theater and music theater festival where people have been workshopping and working on new pieces that have never been. Um, that have either never been performed yet for audiences or have been um, established in other places and it's their first New York City premiere. What my task was, I was married to Matahari, which was the world premiere show of Prototype. And so I was behind stage most of the time and I did prop work. So I would set all the props before the show would start. Basically the way that they tailored the internship was to create a learning experience for the people that were working because um, Prototype really couldn't work at, without its um, interns because it is a nonprofit organization and they can't um, really put it on without the extra work because it's theater shows especially just shows take so much just like labor and a lot of people on deck so they really tailored to letting us have time with the artists so we had different little meeting meet and greets with all of the artists and residencies um, and then the different like actors that were in the pieces or the um, dire uh, artistic directors of the companies that we worked with funding was key in this because if I hadn't gotten funding I wouldn't have went because as much as my parents love me and support me they couldn't you know they can't fund a, I was in New York for a month and New York City is a very expensive place <laughs> and I wasn't getting paid which they were nice they gave us um, metro like transportation so they paid for our metro cards which is a huge help um, because metro is very expensive but um, funding was absolutely key the, the whole thing the ask and ye shall receive thing it's a total thing it's a total thing because um, there's so much funding and people don't realize that there is but Western is so ready to help its students get to that place so basically all the funding that I, I received I from OSD I was given the lifetime experience grant and then I also applied for an honors development grant through the honors college and I also received the student travel fund grant from Potter College of Arts and Letters were the three big ones that really helped fund this experience.